Is that the wailing of horrors we hear round the bend? Or the screeching of brakes as the Eurostar meets its end? At Ebbsfleet International, it's all fallen apart. Abandoned and trainless, the spirit of Halloween did outsmart. The passengers roam and check the upper level. Are those the lights of a javelin or the eyes of the devil? It's all right, the mole man knows. We'll continue onward in this. The mighty 395 should survive all, try or die, hit or miss. Is that the wailing of horrors we hear around the bend? Oh no, my mistake. It's the locals of Gravesend. Right, I think that's all the survivors accounted for. Good God. Zombies put ballast over the tracks and we just... Oh, the, the, the 374's ruined. But thankfully, we have an alternative train sitting up in Platform 6. Ignore how on fire the station is. That's besides the point. We have the javelin. So let's get on board. And ooh, it's all spooky lighting. That's fun. Um... Let's get the train into forwards. That's it. Excellent. Right. This should be fairly simple. Headlights on. And go. There we go. We're away. Everyone's accounted for. It's a bit of a tight squeeze because we were in a train that's a quarter of a mile long beforehand, but it'll be fine. Javelins are all good. Oh, there's more zombies. Oh, God. Why well, set the car park on fire? That's just inconvenient. Or are they people that didn't pay for their season pass? That, that could be it. That could be it. Spooky lighting. The moon is shining upon us. It's uh, It's got very dark and eerie for this one. That it has. Let's, uh, let's hope we can see on, on our way. There we go. Pass under the North Kent. That's it. And then climb onto the North Kent. It's very, very dark and spooky. Very dark and spooky. We have some lights. Do we have light? Oh, that light. There we go. We'll drive with the cab light on. I feel like that's a good thing to do in this rather... Spooky instance, considering we can see nothing. Uh, love it. There's some nice little atmospheric lighting going on, though, like that. And you see little bits and bobs, which is all we need. If anything, slipping through the darkness of night is probably what we need to be doing a bit more of. Because um, a train's not exactly something that you can hide very well. They're very big. They're very big. Uh, let's not speed too much, because uh, we have got to go through Gravesend in a minute. And we all know that I'm terrible at stopping there. I've, I've always have been. I've always, that, that 30 limit is evil. I could never make it. The atmospheric lighting. Love it. Absolutely love it. Right, let's... Uh, it, it'll be fine. We'll break in a minute. Which is what I always say when I screw up. Uh, it's fine. Fine. Signals are all good, so we're fine. Alright, let's break a little bit. That's it, that's it. Bring ourselves down to a comfortable 30 in plenty of time. Crawl through. Hope no zombies jump on the roof and stuff, because that would be a bit of a disaster. But it says not in use, so they should know it's not for them. They should know it's not for them. There we go, 30. Can drive properly in the zombie apocalypse, but no no other time. No other time. Platform 2, which is good. Platform 0 would be a bit counterproductive. There we go. Crawl through... That's an ominous glow coming from the station. That can't be good. Oh, there's fire. No, someone's set a networker on fire. Or its own brakes have set it on fire. Or, like, its own shoe gear. Because they've got wooden shoe beams. Like, they're designed to catch on fire. They're standing on the bridge. Oh, no. 
Oh, a car's driven off the walk, off the road, through the wall, and onto the platform. Oh no! Oh, spooky, spooky lighting, and the train is smoking and looking horrible. Oh no! Oh no! No! Shut! No! Look, I know, I know, I know. Oh, shut up. This is not what we need. The zombies can catch up to us now. Come on. Uh oh, shut up. There we go. And go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> hope, 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 hopefully they're not chasing us now. No. No, we're good. We're good. There we go. All together now. Professionalism. I am I'm flawless at this. I'm so good. I'm so good at driving trains. Like who'd have thought? It's it's incredible. I don't screw up. Especially when there's like, you know, urgency and apocalypse going on. Why would I screw up? Like the, the the fact that you think I would is awful. Like never. I'm perfect. Perfect. He says. Oh, there's fire. Houses on fire. At least it's a pretty fire. That's that's the one thing, that's the one positive to take away from it. It's about the only thing, but there we go. Very spooky, driving towards the moon. I wonder how many times you'd have to drive this route to get to the moon, if you catch my drift. That's, pro that's maths. Forget maths. Hall Halloween is scary enough without the inclusion of maths. I don't... You know, like maths. Maths is bad. Uh, that's it. Up to 70. More or less. Looking good. Coasting along. Very, very eerie now. How are we doing in here? Everyone alright? You all good? And if you've seen the news, these are getting an interior refurbishment next year. Which is lovely. These seats, they're great. But they're over 10 years old now, and they're wearing a little bit thin. Um, so are these cookies, these digestives. They've been there since this released in... Well, it was railsimulator.com back then. That gives you an idea. Uh, and that coffee has gone more than cold by this point. Oh, well. Alright, more spooky lighting. Lovely. I'm gonna assume it's some sort of spirit of Halloweenness has just draped something over the over the remaining ambient lights because it's much darker than it was before. Oh well. We we will we'll live. We'll live. I have faith. And you should have faith too. It'll be fine. It's just a little bit of Halloween nonsense. We we've done we've done it. We've dealt with it. You know, it's fine. We'll, we'll be okay. So long as there's not like anything on fire directly in front of me on this track, we'll be fine. And if, if there was, then uh, that's a big problem. All right, we're approaching Who Junction, um, or I should say Who Junction. Halloween joke. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> so stupid. Right, here we go. Passing through Who, where there's a building on fire. We love that. We love buildings on fire. And another 59. Anyone would think that they're really unreliable. But no, I just... Give me the asset placement tool and I will go to town. That's very on fire. It's all good. It's all good. That's a glow. Why is there a glow? Why is there a glow? Oh no, 700's on fire! No! That's bad! That's very bad! 700022 is dead! Big, big sadness. Very big sadness. It's dead now. Oh dear. Honestly. Now these zombies, they're very, they're very anti-train. Which is not okay. Not okay. But it's fu We'll live. We'll live. 
We have got to go through Hyam, which is uh, more terrifying than anything else, I think. But it's all good. Oh, God. Zombies and... Ah! The tunnel's been replaced with a spooky tunnel and a pumpkin! We're fine. We're fine. We're all good. All right. And now we can literally see nothing. Uh, if I turn the cab light back off... No, that doesn't help. Uh, somewhere down there is Strode. Somewhere. Somewhere. And then we've got the gap. The, uh, the hole right down there. Right, so let's hope nothing's bad happened there, shall we? Because that would that would be very bad. That it would. Let's have a look. I mean, there's light, which is usually a good thing, but could be a bad thing. Ding. Ah! No, it's turned into a spider's nest. No. Ah! No, thank you. That's that's the worst. That's actually the worst. That is worse than... Shut up! Shut up. Don't need you causing me another problem. I'm fully vigilant and definitely know what's going on at every second. I, I know this stuff. I'm just a pro. Obviously. Um, But can a pro stop? Extrude without a problem. We're gonna find out, aren't we? We're gonna find out. Ding. All right, let's uh, let's stop breaking. How about that? Because it's half a mile away, a fifteen approach, and who knows what's happened this time? Because these these zombies are very, 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 very mean. Very mean. They, sh they should be less mean, but there we go. Bring the speed down. To a very sedate 15 miles an hour. At least this time it isn't 20 like it used to be. Otherwise we would literally be here all night. Oh wow. 18, 17, 16. I'm literally a professional. I, I, what am I doing here doing this? I should be doing the real thing. Don't accidentally push the emergency brake. <laughs> that would be bad. Oh, there we are. Outside. Spooky Strood. It doesn't need to be Halloween for Strood to be spooky. Fun fact. Um, it just is. It's just, it just is. But uh, being Halloween makes it all the more terrifying. That it does. They've put, put there's pumpkins. The zombies have put pumpkins on the foot bridge. Good, good. That's we love that. Oh no. There'd be a blockage. Uh oh. Okay, well, we'll stop before the blockage. Otherwise, we'll. I mean, they're probably going to ambush us the second we stop, which is the problem. That's the witch. Which, you, you're kind of embery. Uh, stop! Oh no. Well, we can't go any further in this track. No, we cannot. The witch is going to cause us more problems. I reckon the 395 is done for. How else are we going to get to Tunbridge? 